walking the dog and I can open. What it do, Eminem crew? Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Farron and I'm a seventh grade math teacher in the state of Florida. I can pick you up when you're heading down. When it all just sucks, I'll be your Charlie Brown. I'm in my classroom, y'all. <laughs> it's that time of year, classroom setup time. I am going to be painting my classroom today, as well as putting the skeletons on my bulletin board. So just like the paper and the borders. I'm super excited. I'm just waiting now for the custodian to come bring me like the paintbrushes, the paint tins, all that stuff I need to paint in. I just brought the paints and he said he'd provide everything else. So I'm patiently waiting for that because I also have to tape the edges. So I'm gonna be painting that wall. Merry good yellow, merry good, merry gold yellow. And then the rest of my room is going to be like a bright white because right now it's like a beige. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't like that. And also there's like, um, from my own personal doing. <laughs> I put vinyl stickers up and when I took them down, it left like an imprint and I don't like that either. So I'm just gonna try and paint over it and see what happens. We'll see. Oh, that is a nice color. Now this cutting in is very, very skillful for it. Cutting in. This is cutting in. It's got a whole day. Cutting in. y'all so I was starting to blue tape my wall when the custodian came if you guys just saw he gave me a little tutorial of what I'm supposed to do he did this part for me to show me the technique and I'm about to get a longer roller like he just went to go get a longer roller so I can stay on the ground and still paint to the top he's the real MVP for real so I have all my technique my paintbrush I'm super excited like look he just did that with no tape it's called cutting in it's a technique not for me but he's a professional um so we about to just get started in painting and i'm so excited so here we go here we go y'all this is all I have done today <laughs> I did two coats of the yellow and I am officially done with this wall except for this small little itty bitty corner because I can't reach it I am pooped y'all I even got paint in my hair I have paint all of my clothes 
it's ridiculous but it is 2.48 and the, clo the school closes at 3 so I have to clean up and head out of here and this is all I got to do today was this one wall but I'm gonna come earlier tomorrow so I can do all three of these walls and that will be all of my part one video I'm not gonna segment these it's all gonna be together so I'll see y'all tomorrow or in the same video I'll see y'all in five seconds <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday, July 28th, and we are back in my classroom painting round two. If you notice, your girl still got yellow in her hair. <laughs> That's because I hate washing my hair, and I knew I was painting today, so I was like, I'm going to get all the paint in my hair and then wash it one good time. Okay, so let's get straight into the painting because I'm trying to get all three walls done today. Yesterday, as you guys saw, I did use tape when I was painting except for that one little section. But it took a little longer because you do have to go slower around the tape edges. So I don't know which one would actually take longer to tape and then just go crazy with the paintbrush or to not tape and go slow on the edges. Because I was thinking about taping today because it just took a little, too little extra time and like precision. And I could do it. Girl, a professional. But it just take time for me so i think i'm gonna tape i'm gonna tape this one wall see how it goes and then if it goes well i'll tape the other two so let's get into it y'all it is almost five o'clock <laughs> which means i have to go but i still did not finish my walls although i am very proud of myself because i feel like tomorrow after i finish the edging on the top it'll be real quick because i did it kind of like a coloring book when i figured out my routine i was like got it boom done so i basically outlined like i would a picture when i'm coloring all of the edges so let me show you real quick so I did every single thing that has an edge. I outlined around the rest of my entire room. As you guys can see, the door, everything that has an edge, I outlined, which I'm super proud of. I did not use tape. Um, I think I did a pretty good job. No tape, no tape, cutting edge. And then I did this connecting wall so I did try tape on this back wall I don't know if I recorded that but it took longer because I still have to like use the paintbrush on the edge because the roller doesn't go all the way down like it didn't it didn't leave a I don't know it was weird so I just didn't use tape for the rest of the walls so now all I have to do tomorrow is finish the edges so I just did I don't know if you guys can see that I did the edge up to right there and then I have to do the rest of the edges and then just fill in the blank. Oh yeah, and my custodian gave me a ladder so I can fix that corner all the way over there. I keep forgetting I can zoom. I don't know how to zoom on this. Oh, I got a new camera y'all, so. Oh, okay. So this little corner over here I'm going to fix tomorrow and that should be done with painting. I'm so proud of myself. Like, first of all, I did this all by myself. Second of all, 
it looks so good. Like my custodian came in and said he was so proud of me. Like he was so proud and I'm so proud. That yellow wall looks and the white just makes it so much brighter in here and I love it. It's gonna be such a happy and positive environment. And this is just the beginning, y'all. I will see you guys tomorrow. So bye. So that's a wrap in my classroom today. <sighs> I ran out of border like paper for this one. So I have to get, well, both of them. So I have to get more border and more paper at the teacher store tomorrow. And I also have to get more paint because I ran out of paint. So this paint job is taking way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> so I'm just gonna upload this video. This will be the end of this classroom setup part one because I'm not gonna include any more painting. Like I'm just, I just keep painting and painting and painting and it's getting a little tiring but I'm almost done like I did the hard part and now it's just filling in the blanks but I just ran out of paint so <laughs> let me show you guys what I have so I did this entire wall so this well not entire wall but entire section the top and the bottom and if you guys can see I don't know if it's gonna dry like that but like a few spots are lighter and I did that because I thought I was running out of paint so I'm gonna buy more and if it looks like that tomorrow I'll do a second coat but I stopped about right here and I ran out of paint but I did do all the edges and I just have to do the fill in the blank of the whites it's empty I'm tired y'all like this painting is no joke but Kimberly, I'm gonna, I was gonna put this up today, but I'm gonna wait for Kimberly to come back tomorrow to help me because it's much easier to do it with two people instead of one. And we will continue part two manana. So thanks guys so much for staying tuned to this long paint job. <sighs> but I promise my classroom will come together. Y'all hear that thunder? It is raining. I might as well just stay and do something because I'm not about to go outside with that rain. I'm gonna see how much longer it's gonna stay. Like, you know how on the weather app it tells you how long it is until the rain stops. So yeah, and I also, again, managed to get paint in my hair after just washing it. I should have washed it, but I was trying to make some TikToks and reels and I didn't want no yellow paint in my hair, so. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for part two, three, four, five. I don't know how many parts we're gonna have because I'm HGTV and up in here. Like we we gonna have my class about to be cute. Just wait, just wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. Aaron Burr, sir. <laughs>